How to pass the SPA SSC entry test. Let's first discuss the format. As discussed in one of my previous videos, the timeline for this test is that you have a biology section with approximately 30 MCQs, a chemistry section with approximately 30 MCQs as well, a physics section with approximately 30 MCQs, and lastly, a mathematics section with almost 30 MCQs as well. The time allotted for this paper is 2 hours. An important point to note here is that the exam entails four sections out of which only three have to be attempted. Moreover, the total number of MCQs are almost 120. However, you should know that the individual number of MCQs as well as the total number of MCQs differs every single year. What I mean by that is, it is a possibility that the physics section has only 25 MCQs and the biology section has almost even 39 MCQs. Moving on, there are some key points that you should know about the format. These are as follows. Remember that only three out of four sections have to be attempted. In case you attempt all four, only first three are considered. Secondly, the marks for this exam are not released, so you never know how good or how bad have you performed. You might be thinking now, how do we actually prep for this exam? Well, my suggestion to you would be that strengthen your base. It does not really matter if you are from a metric slash FSC background or you are from an O slash A level background. But the one thing that I do suggest to people from all backgrounds is attempting the SAT 2. If you do not have enough time to go over the content of the SAT 2, then at least do its questions. However, if you are from an A-level background, you don't really need to do FSE. And if you are from an FSE background, you don't really need to do A-levels. That's a big no. But one thing that is important for A-level students is that if you do not go through the SAT 2, there are some chapters that are not included in A-levels but are questioned on the test frequently, such as the chapter about light and lens. Therefore, I suggest doing the SAT 2 immensely. The one more thing that you should do is practice, 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 and practice. And the best source to practice from are the SATU books. Then let's come to the planning. This planning should be done before the test and even during the test. First, you should know your strengths. You should know that out of those four sections, which of the three would you be attempting? Then decide beforehand. However, be flexible about it while attempting. I say this because in my personal scenario, I had planned to do the physics, chemistry and mathematics section of the SPA SSE entry test. However, during the exam, I found the biology section much easier, even though it had more questions. And therefore, instead of attempting physics, I attempted biology. This is why, although it is essential to have a plan, you should be flexible about it during the exam. In order to turn things in your favor. As far as the time management goes, I do suggest spending almost 5 to 10 minutes to skim through the paper so that you can check and see how many questions each section entails and what is the difficulty of each one of them. And then spend 1 to 2 minutes on each MCQ and ideally 30 minutes on each section. This is just a suggestion. You can go about the exam in whatever way you find comfortable. However, following this would leave you almost 20 to 30 minutes at the end to attempt all MCQs that you are not sure of but can make a good guess of. This brings me to the point that this exam does have negative marking. So 0.25 marks are deducted each time that you answer a question wrong. So think about this before you make a guess.
Now, when should one start prepping for this? Well, this is kind of relative and depends on how good your educational background is, how far you have come with your studies, how good you are in each section or in each subject. However, as they say, the earlier you start, the better it is. But this does vary for every single person. A general weekly timeline that I can actually give is two to four weeks are more than enough for this test. Now let's move to the more interesting bit of this video, and that is my story and experience with the LUMS SPA SSC entry test. Before I move on, I would like to give a disclaimer. This is not recommended at all. A day before the exam is when I actually started prepping for it. I had not given the SAT 2s, neither had I ever studied them. And you might be thinking, are you serious? That is the truth. And in all honesty, that is what I did. And this is why I say this is not recommended at all. A day before the exam, I actually used Z notes for chemistry and physics. And no, this video is not sponsored by Z notes. However, it is a good source to utilize as in just mere minutes, you can go and skim through the entire SAT 2 for chemistry, physics, bio, and even mathematics. So this is exactly what I did. My plan of attempting all standardized tests which entail MCQs is that I firstly attempt all MCQs that I'm completely sure about. This is actually based on whatever knowledge I have gained in those past years. And then I attempt MCQs that I have a slight doubt on but can make a good guess of it. And lastly, I leave out all MCQs I have absolutely no clue of. Don't be surprised if you see such MCQs on the exam because you cannot cover everything for such exams which are standardized and neither do you need to. If you like this video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up and for now, bye bye.